Do you know how many women who died every year because of cancer? Do you know? I wanted to Google the statistics. Do you know how many men who have gone to the grave because of heart disease every year? Go and look at the statistics, the number of people who died every year because of heart disease. Go to America, go to North America, go to South America, go to Australia, Europe, United Kingdom, even here in Africa. Go to the Asian countries. I ask you, do you know the number of people who died every year because of deadliest diseases? Do you know? Maybe you don't have knowledge about it. We are not praying for you to encounter it. That is the reason the Lord has given me a mandate to pray for people who are sick in their bodies. I am right here with this globe. But as I lay hand on this globe, people in America will contact the healing power of God. As I lay in here, I'm praying for the globe, I'm praying for the whole world. Go to the hospital and see the number of our mothers, number of our sisters who are dying because of cancer of the breast. Go and see people who died in the hospital because of tumors in their brain. Go and see the number of people who died inside their cars because of heart failure. It bleeds my heart when I went through the statistics and I saw the number of people who died every year. And I began to pray for people who were sick in the body. You will never know how it is. I don't want you to experience it. No, I don't want you to experience it. The experience will not be pleasing. That is the reason the Lord has commissioned me by the word of the Lord. I stand here by the word of the Lord. I didn't come here to get me excited. By the word of the Lord, God has commissioned me to pray for the to, to heal the sick, not to pray for the sick. Because there are two different things here. To pray for the sick and to heal the sick. Jesus Christ was speaking to words in the book of Matthew chapter 16. When you read there from verse 17, God has given us the great commission there. He said that we will lay and upon the sick and the sick shall recover. He said, go ye into the world. And he said, this sign shall follow them that believe. I am a believer of Christ. I am standing here tonight under the ocean and open heaven to speak the word of God to heal those who are sick in the body. There are so many deadliest diseases in the world claiming lives of people. I want to thank God for the medical doctors that have been trying to do their best. But where medical stops, that is the beginning of signs and wonders. I came here tonight with the word of the Lord of Samuel. You're watching me from America, North America. You're watching me from South America. You're watching me from Europe. You're watching me from United Kingdom. You're watching me from Australia. You're watching me from Asian countries. You're watching me from Russia, wherever you're watching me from, from Africa. As I lay my hand upon this globe, I'm going to use this globe as a point of contact to straight for the healing power of God to as many who are sick in their bodies. To as many, as many people who are lying down in the sick bed in different hospitals in the world. Or whether you are lying down in the sick bed at home, where even you will be watching this broadcast from, the healing power of God shall penetrate your mortal bodies. The Bible says, if the spirit that resurrected Jesus Christ from the dead shall live in your mortal, mortal body, that same spirit that resurrected Jesus Christ from the dead shall quicken you shall quicken, shall vitalize your mortal body. I came with good news for you. Tonight is your healing night. Those in North America, tonight is your healing night. Those in South America, 
Tonight is your healing night. You're watching me from Australia. Tonight is your healing night. I am not here to get you excited. I am here for the business of heaven. I am here to declare the counsel of God to be made manifest for the heaven. I'm waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. I came here to drive into your body the healing power of Christ. It doesn't matter how many years that cancer has been in your body. It doesn't matter how many years that heart disease has been in your body. It doesn't matter how many years that HIV, that AIDS, that flu. It doesn't matter how many years those sicknesses, those deadly diseases have been in your body. I speak to you tonight by the word of the Lord. Wherever you're watching me from, I lay my head upon this globe. And I speak to the people in America. Be healed from that deadly disease. Be healed from that deadly disease. Be healed from that deadly disease. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. I pray for you my sister. I pray for you my brother. I pray for you my mother. Whatsoever you are suffering from. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. I pray for you right now. By the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the demon of cancer. I commend you cancer. You don't have the right to stay in the body. That body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. That body is being bought with a price. I speak to your mortal body. Those in America. Those in Europe. Those in United Kingdom. Those in Australia. Those in Russia. Those in Asia. Be healed now. Those in Africa. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are. I lay my hand upon this global globe. Be healed. Wherever you are, you are sick in your body. Whether you are driving through the Atlantic Ocean and you are not on the land, be healed in the name of Jesus. I speak to you wherever you are, you're watching me from. Even if you're not live right now and you're going to watch this broadcast, I speak the healing power of God upon this broadcast. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the demon of cancer. I rebuke the demon of cancer. I rebuke the demon of cancer in America. I rebuke the demon of cancer. Be healed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5. The Bible says that this man bore everything he bore. He bore. He said but he was wounded for transgression. He was, he was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of the poor of our, and the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. Verse 4 said that he bore all of our grief. He bore. Yes. He, he, the Bible says that surely he had borne our grief and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem his deacons smitten of God and afflicted by his stripes. Verse 5. The last paragraph. We are healed. By his stripes we are healed. That means many years ago when Jesus was nailed on the cross. You, you, your sicknesses were nailed on the cross with him. Your diseases were nailed on the cross with him. No disease has the right to stay in your body. And that is the reason I came tonight to wage war against every demon of cancer. I commend you cancer that is afflicting people in America. Get out of your body. I commend cancer to leave the continent of America right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are sick in your body. Wherever you are watching me from. Viewers all about the world. Wherever you are watching me from. I commend you to be healed tonight. Be healed tonight from a heart disease. Be healed tonight from that HIV, from that high blood pressure. Be healed tonight from that diabetes. Be healed tonight from that cancer. Be healed tonight from that flu. Be healed tonight. Whatever kind of diseases you are suffering from, you've been afflicted with, you've been infected with, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover you healing with the blood of Jesus. I cover you healing with the blood of Jesus. The enemies will not be able to contain with your healing as from today. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
God bless you viewers all over the world. God bless you. God bless you. I want to let you know that Jesus loves you. He loves you so much. He loves you. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Jesus loves you. God bless you. Thank you for staying on this broadcast. And I know if you were watching me and you're not born again, I want to pray a simple prayer to pray with you. So Lord Jesus, come into my life. I ask you to come into my life. Cancel my name from the book of death. You write my name in the book of life. I am born again today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Since you prayed that simple prayer to pray with me, God bless you. We will be very grateful to receive your testimony. We will be very grateful to receive your testimony. Find a Bible based and the gospel preaching and doing church and attend and grow in your faith. I will be very happy to come your way again this same time Thursday next week. I love you. God bless you. My name is your brother, Hero God's General. In case you want to call our number, we have a number on top of the screen and in case you can't find the number there you can call us with plus two three four seven zero three one one seven nine four zero eight the second number is plus two three four eight zero eight seven two five three three six four so you can call us with that number, with those numbers rather, and tell us the great thing that God has done in your life. God bless you. I love you till I come your way. We will be very glad to receive your testimony and to document it, to tell the world the great thing that God is doing in our generation. God bless you till I come your way again. Bye-bye. I love you.